Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of the Elixir Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be covering agents. So in the previous episodes, we looked at gen servers and how they can be useful uh, for you know doing all kinds of stuff. And we looked at handle call and handle cast, um, you know, just the basics of gen servers. So you know, a lot of people in the community, uh, you know, they tell me when I talk to the community, um, you know, to people. Some people, I, I, I get this quite a, a few times already that I don't use agents because, you know, gen server can do pretty much everything. And you are right. I mean, if you're if you think like that, uh, however, agents kind of like provide a little bit more abstractions over um, in terms of state management. Um, you know, if you're not doing a lot of work and you're all you want to do is just track states of something like, for example, you have a map and you want to modify it or you have a list of something you want to track. Um, just for tr purely tracking state that so that you can retrieve that state later um, Sometimes in gen servers we start agents so that we can track states of certain things and then basically uh, We can retrieve that state a little bit later once the work is you know at a different point in time um, so in this episode right here I'm gonna be covering agents and because you know in our solution we're actually gonna be using agents for some stuff so um, that's why I want to cover agents before actually just getting into the code and showing you guys. Oh, here's agents. Um, so I have IEX started over here in my uh, console. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start an agent. So to start an agent, it's very simple. Uh, PID, and then I'm going to do uh, equals agent dot start link. And then, um, and then yeah, FN. So we're going to pass in a function and I'm going to just do a map over here. And basically, that's pretty much it. Um, now our agent is started with an empty state. Um, so what we can do then next is we can do something like get. Uh, so we can get um, the, the state. Uh, so agent dot get PID and then uh, FN state, state end. Uh, so we can also update the state, obviously. Uh, so we can do agent dot update PID FN state. And then here we can do something like map dot merge state and then name Zach and close that out. So now if I do agent dot get PID FN state state and it should be just my name and Zach. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, the API, uh, if you will, it's a little bit nicer than having to, you know, write your own uh, gen server to handle this because, you know, you do use this quite a bit um, if you're just tracking states uh, of things. Uh, so, you know, I'll give you one example of how we're going to use it in our context of, of what av the application we're trying to build. Uh, in Chrome Remote uh, Dev Server, re Chrome Remote uh, uh, Interface, what we need to be able to do is track network calls. So basically when we load a page, we need to be able to track all the network calls because this is a single page application. Remember, all the network calls that have to be called to get the data to render the page. So we need to track basically if a particular network call uh, has been completed. And when, let's say we start at 20 and we, um, you know, all 20 network calls are done, then we know that, you know, the page uh, is completed. You know, so that's why we're going to use agents to track all that. So uh, another call we can do in here is get and update. So I'm going to show you guys just for completion sake. So get and update PID and then FN state. So what we're going to need to do here is we can, pa it's going to return the original state. And then, you know, as a second element of the tuple, we can do the actual update. So we can do map dot merge state and then we can pass in an age 34 and then yeah close out the tuple close out the function and we're good so it's going to return so it's get an update so it's going to get and then the first element in the tuple is what's going to be returned and then the second element is just the new state so now if i do get again agent dot get we should get uh the name with an age so fn state state and just like that. Uh, so, you know, you can also create your own module and then use an agent. So you can, um, you know, create an, a module, use an agent, and you can do something like, you know, have like custom, something like get name and get age or whatever. And then basically you can do, in that uh, function, you can do something like get state dot 
name like that and you just return the actual value. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, give us a like. Also check out our discussion forum. So I'm gonna head over into my codemy.net and basically I wanna show you guys a little bit about uh, you know what we're doing. We just recently launched this, so it's not being used very much yet. However, we encourage you to head on over, sign up uh, you know, and help us uh, build this community, uh, you know, and the the, po the point of uh, building this community is so that, um, you know, you can I can provide, um, you know, help to you guys. So if you have a question about Elixir, JavaScript, or Ruby, or whatever it is, you can actually do syntax highlighting. You can actually describe the problem really precisely using our editor here. Um, so for example, I can show you here. Uh, we can use a code editor, and we can type in, oh, um, you know, your example problem. So some, if you're doing something like agent, so agent dot get um, PID FN state state and something like that. And then basically you can do syntax highlighting uh, with that. So yeah, so check that out. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about this as well. Um, so, you know, I hope you guys like and uh, found this episode useful. Um, you know, feel free to create a new conversation and ask a question or give us a testimonial or feedback uh, on how we can improve um, our content even. So it can be more helpful to you. And if you're already a member, you know, this is the best way to get the most out of your membership is, you know, you have access to me and I can help you with any kind of problem that you guys have. Uh, whether it's you're working in a company and you want something resolved or you want to fix something, uh, and you're stuck, you know, don't waste time spending hours and hours. Like maybe there's a high chance that I already know the answer to your question. Post it here. I'll be all monitoring this, uh, you know, constantly, um, you know, and basically, you know, I'll be able to give you guys a better solution uh, in the long run. And, and over time, as the community builds, uh, it's going to be very useful, uh, you know, to, if you're just doing a search, uh, find a solution very quickly. Um, to get to you know what you need. Uh, so with that, I want to wrap up this episode. This is a free episode. So like, share, and subscribe. Become a member on our site for just nine bucks a month to get everything, uh, including the community support. Uh, and with that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.